Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to Grandia. In the last episode, we successfully managed to rescue Fina from the Grandur, the Garlisle Forces airship, which uh, we, you know, kind of caused to explode and crash and kill everyone on board, including uh, General Ball. And uh, Fina has revealed that she is an Icarian, because, you know, we haven't been expecting that since uh, uh, Lean gave it away. Now, because she's an Icarian, she actually has some new abilities that she can learn. Uh, so, our next battle, she will learn this level 2 one. And she will learn this level 3 one. She's not going to learn this level 1 one. I think that's bugged. Uh, I think those were supposed to be 30 each. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get that. I know it's not worth it, but I'm going to try anyway. Um... The water one should be easy enough to get to. I'll, I'll find some place where I take damage on the map and uh, just in between episodes or something like that, just constantly get that up. And then uh, for the wind, I'll probably just have to keep casting Runner every time uh, we get into a battle. Anyway, let's go ahead and uh, get the heck out of here. Brennan Plateau, and we cannot go back to the abandoned lane village now. Cannot go back to the Virgin Forest or the Tower of Doom. But let's go to the lane village. It'll be a little bit until we uh, get those unlocked. The three wise men should know the way to Alent. Okay, first let's go and see what Darling can tell us. Justin, what are you doing here? Y'all look like cats running from a flood. Darlin', listen, I need your help. I see. And what y'all want to do about it? Miette told me. If you want the answers to many questions, come to Alent. Now I understand. I didn't... I didn't when I began the journey. But now are words. There's something I must know. Not just something, so many things. Angelou grew to encompass the world. Why would such a civilization die? The Icarians, the Spirit Stone, and Gaia. I must go to Alent. It will all be clear in Alent. All the answers. Boy, seems like the time has come. A time for you, the Chosen One. Truth is, we ain't just scientists. I didn't think you were scientists in the first place. Like, scientists in the first place. I thought you were just guys obsessed with knowledge. There is a difference. We's the gatekeepers to Alent, Justin. Couldn't let on, though. Not till you was ready. Which is now, Justin? To Alent! Yes. I'll go. I'll go and find the answers. Good. It's Dorlin who knows the way to Alent. Y'all be careful now, Justin, boy. I will, and thank you, darling. All right, we're heading out. All right. Let's go say hi to Dorlin. It's you! It's you! I remember you well. Who are you anyway? Huh? Not again! <laughs> Just kidding. What is it today? What have y'all come to ask me? Look, we finally obtained the key to Alent. The, the key to... Another step closer to Liete. Good work, young'uns. Good work. Uh, Dorlin, I want to go to Alent. There is something I must know. Hmm. I see the time has finally come. Old Darlin probably told y'all. We're also the gatekeepers for Alent. Guess it's time to show you the way. First, throw the Medal of Knowledge into the beautiful spring behind the village. You'll see a rainbow. The rainbow on the spring will lead you to a lead y'all to Alent. Then you'll find out what find what you're looking for. To Rainbow Mountain and Rainbow Spring. Get a going. To this place, a Lent. Thank you, Dorlin. We're headed for a Lent. I'll r open the Rainbow Mountain gate. Be sure to find the answer. And then, Liete, with my hands I shall... What the heck are you going to do with your hands, old man? It's 
same basic thing. Well, well, I wasn't expecting, uh... I don't know why, it, it seems a little bit jerky, the uh, opening on this part. And again, that was on a different disc. Kind of reminds me of the uh, Ganymede creature. So is there a reason for showing us the, that game? Or uh, did you just want to like tease us about what's to come or something like that? I don't know. And you, Mullen. <laughs> the time has finally come. The time for the Spirit Stone to be won again. Father, how can you mean it? Don't revive this beast, I beg you! It's a bit late, isn't it? Besides, the revival of Gaia was the final objective of Operation Yggdrasil. Yeah, so, um, Mullen, if you didn't want this to happen, wh wh why have you been helping him? Look upon him, Mullen. Gaia is bursting with joy. It, is he really? I can hear his voice, how he longs to gorge on the energy of the Spirit Stone. Father, don't you understand? Gaia cannot be tamed by human hands. You're repeating the tragic mistakes of the past. Can you not recall the soldiers and humanoids cursed by Gaia and turned to stone? Worms. Mere feed for Gaia. Worms. How dare you. Father, if that is what you truly think, then all your talk of sacrifice and building an ideal world was nothing but lies. There is no ideal world without Gaia. He who does the will of Gaia shall be infinitely bl infinitely blessed, as I will be. <laughs> Out of my way, Mullen, even though you're not actually in my way right now. I shall now offer the last piece of the Spirit Stone. All hands on the aerial... Battleship Grander escaped when she went down, except for General Ball. Reports from the battleship Lion Lot assigned to rescue the survivors painted a very grim picture. And yet, how could General Ball survive without a scratch? I'm I'm shocked that everyone else managed to survive. I'm frightened. When I see General Ball, I I cannot stop shaking. So it's as I suspected. He must not get a hold of the Spirit Stone. Um, doesn't he already have it, or is there still a piece left? I mean, I suppose there could still be another piece out there. Alright, off to Rainbow Mountain. He said it was behind the village, didn't he? All you've got to do is walk around the lake and you're gonna find it. Well, I'll be. I never, never seen the goat gate open up so sudden like that in all my days as gatekeeper. Y'all got Dorland's permission, right? Well, then off you go. Take care, though. There's monsters. These monsters all around the Rainbow Spring. Come right back if it gets dangerous. I'm sure it'll be fine. And suddenly it's green and not snowy anymore. Hello, new monsters. We will murder you. As is appropriate for heroes. Hey, we have the original battle music back. Spew slime and stun mist. I don't like the sounds of either of those. Take it. 
Alright, so, uh, we will go with... Well, I might be able to get a good howl off of, uh, off on these guys. Let's see. Oh, wind, twist like a tornado! Yep, that hits all four. Excellent. What a cinch! Yeah, at least with uh, plus thirty-two, it'll shouldn't take too long. Although that'll that'll start uh, dropping off after a bit. But she should never get less than uh, one, I think. I mean, uh, never less than two for each enemy, so... More evil chickens! And they're green this time. Got a lot of uh, ropes that we can just walk across, apparently. Thudbirds and Crimsonas. Interesting. What about a howl slash? Just hit them all. Oh, wind twist like a tornado. Make sure that we hit them all. Fina has learned Tree of Life. Fina has learned End of the World. didn't I get that last time? I don't know. Oh, she probably needed to actually level up before it would uh, give her anything. Uh, okay. Well, the Crimsonas apparently are uh, weak to wind. Oh, rude. Don't do a head deck. Oh, wind twist like a tornado. I don't think Justin got all of his uh, attacks off, actually. Wow, you get to go again? I'll do a runner this time. Please protect us. A lot of experience points in this area, too, though. 114 for win. That's pretty nice. And Rap got a level. Uh, Guido will probably get a level pretty soon. At least with this kind of experience. Actually, everyone will probably go up a level around here. Alright, money, huh? I am not entirely... Okay, no, no, I, I got... I figure out where I am now. Um... Let's see. So, Life Tree restores party to its best condition, 28 MP. And World End reduces all enemies to nothingness for uh, 33 MP. I want to say that her uh, level 1 spell costs 99 as well. It actually costs 99 to cast. Not positive of that, but uh, we'll see. We'll certainly play with those eventually. A lift fruit. Mmm, delicious lift fruit. 
I like how uh, good we are at, at like, crossing, uh, ooh. Uh, crossing these tight ropes. Okay, I'm not sure how to get that one. Probably something on the other side. Didn't actually... Well, that'll teach me to not look around the map a little bit first. Egg smash and chain kick. How about you guys not do that? Wind twist like a tornado. I don't want to see you pooping out eggs at me. That's totally what, what birds do, right? Uh, well, since you're try still trying to do something, let's uh, go after you. Wrap, you go after that one. Guido, you can go after this one as well. Oh, wind twists like a tornado. Eh, I probably should have done a runner. Oh well. Ew. Trying to tongue us. Gross. Oh, wind twist like a tornado. Blocked its magic just All as right, I murdered it. Because that's super effective, isn't it? Alright, let's see. So there's a rope that way. Let's grab that money. Dang it! Stupid crayfish. It's totally what they are, they're crayfish. Oh, wind twist like a tornado. I have no idea what that other one was going to do, but doesn't matter. Ah, great. Zero damage. I didn't think they were using uh, uh, elemental attacks. Maybe they're, Maybe these guys are immune to physical. Well, let's see. That would explain why uh, Justin. Oh, uh, they well, they're certainly resistant to physical. All right, we won. At at a, at the least. Well, that actually means that uh, Guido is uh, essentially worthless against them. I will take this, though. Defense Seed! Isn't this the same music that we had uh, climbing the uh, wall? I think it was. Alright, so... Yeah, that's that. Alright, let's go over here, ignore them. I don't think there's anything... 
don't think there's anything around there. There was a pot of money sitting on this, uh, this rope at the end of the... No. Ah, damn it. Curses! See how much damage this uh, Crimsona takes from this. Because the rest of them are dead. For sure. Okay. Quite a bit. All right, we won. That works. Mmm, <laughs> 48. So good. All right, let's see. I probably need to do a little bit of healing. All right, so how do we... Ah, Dick move game. This is where we need to go. This place is so confusing. It really is. It's 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 pretty terrible. No, nope, leave me alone. I want your crayfish bread. Life seed. So we got that. I'm not sure if I want to go. Oh, nope. I do want to go down. And in here we find silk. It's just silk. We found a piece of silk. No metal. Uh, plus four blizzard, water plus wind resistance. If Guido were a permanent party member, I would totally give him the uh, life seeds, but he's not. No, leave me alone. Ah, oh, curses. Always with the catching me. It's terrible. All right, let's uh, see if we can stop this guy from spewing slime. Because that's just gross. Eh, we'll go ahead and do a Heaven and Earth cut. Oh, wind twist like a tornado. Just kind of looking at uh, what we got coming up. Uh, oh, incidentally, the uh, money sacks around here are 290, and the pots Prepare are 870. This is it. I kind of hate that it, that you don't at least get like a little pop-up saying 870 gold or something like that when you pick one of them up. You really should. But, oh well. Alright, let's head to the peak of Rainbow Mountain.
Save point, but first, some cash. All right, it's a little bit early, but I think I am gonna call it here since this is a good place for it. And when we return, uh, we will continue to uh, make our way up the uh, Rainbow Mountain. See you next time, everyone.